Congressman, for your, your words, uh, your presence, and most importantly, your friendship to uh, Tiff University. So, we have a few folks here um, that have been mentioned a few times. They're Mike Herbert, Fred Zoller, and Mark Simone. Now, there have been a number of folks that have been involved in this project to make it possible, but it was these three individuals that really came forward in the very beginning uh, to make it a reality. And so not only did they give generously of their treasure, but they also gave generously of their time and their talent. They helped organize. We met often. Uh, we talked about little details, um, and they really really were invested in this project um, and on behalf of the three of them uh, Mike's going to get up and say a few words everyone Mike Herbert good afternoon uh, I feel a little strange standing here because a lot of my story has been said eight or nine times, but uh, I guess that's what today's about. You know, it, it is a celebration. It is great to see the community of Tiffin, Ohio, Tiffin University. Uh, they are molded together, uh, and uh, today is evidence of that. And uh, the crowd that's here uh, is a great demonstration of that uh, commitment to one another. I'm going to take a moment also to recognize Mark and, and Fred. Uh, you know, we put uh, our heads together and uh, talked about Larry for quite a while. And you look around the city of Tiffin and lots of great things happening at other locations uh, as to what could we do because we did want to recognize uh, our friend. And uh, it came back to Tiffin University. And the effort that the two of those guys put into helping raise the funds to get this project off the ground uh, is certainly deserving of more than just me standing here. So I want everybody to know uh, that this isn't about me. Uh, it's about a lot of people, but certainly those two guys des uh, deserve the recognition uh, for the effort to raise funds. And sometimes it's not so easy, and I'm sure Lil knows, to, or, and, and Mitch knows, to go out and ask people for money it isn't the easiest thing in the world, and you have to have reason commitment, but selling Larry Adelsberger is a pretty easy job. Uh, TU is a great asset to our community, not only the financial impact that it has, uh, but bringing all the young minds and uh, young energy that comes to this university and the opportunity for some of those people to stay as a part of our community. And uh, it's been said several times as to how athletics and certainly the academic education from Tiffin University helps mold those people uh, into the assets that they will be, whether it's in our community or some other. So uh, we certainly respect that opportunity that this facility will also bring uh, individuals to Tiffin University to be assets while they're here, but more importantly to assets to be just like most of you who are here today in uh, being successes in their future and their journey in life. Um, the celebration to me is about people. It's certainly a building that uh, has been erected that will help us do things, but celebrations are about us, about one another. And uh, I'm here today to celebrate my partner. Uh, great human being. Uh, you've had all the other words of commitment and dedication, uh, his track of life, the, the way he values other people, his love for things that he does, and then his involvement level is unending. You know, I think of, uh, if they were to rewrite Webster's Dictionary, you could just put the word partner there, and then write Larry Adelsberger, and enough would be said. And he's been that to me, uh, a dear favor, a great asset to my journey in life, and I'm sure to Tiff University, and that's been said multiple times this afternoon. Um, he is certainly the epitome of a partner. I've been honored and blessed to work with him. At, at PT Services, there are times when we kind of look at each other and smile, and we have a saying, well, that's Larry Adelsberger's farmer math. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, that goes not just in adding and subtracting, but it's his way about uh, going about things. It's his process and the way he looks at things. It's 
very earthly. It's reasonable. It makes sense. Sometimes you have trouble following it, but it's right there in front of you. And you can have all the other processes and formulas you want, but just follow Larry and you'll get to the right train spot. Uh, so uh, that's, you know, a lot of people have asked, well, what's the tie between Larry Adelsberger and a building for wrestling at Tiffin University? He's been on the board 13 years, so that was certainly a tie. Uh, and as it's been said earlier, it was also because of the relationship uh, that I was able to develop through the Biddy Wrestling Program and my family uh, who participated in it, and I got to know Joe Simcoe. Um, the two men are the same. Uh, a little different. You know, Larry is, you know, all the other statements about dedication and integrity and committed things and so forth. Um, you know, he's the gentleman farmer, uh, a statesman, uh, does everything in the right way. Joe Simcoe has all those dedications and commitments and, and looking to better people and caring about people in his process. A little different. He's certainly younger. He's brash. <laughs> shoots from the hip sometimes. Uh, he uh, came to me, I'm going to say three or four years ago. We were at some event and there was kind of a break in the action. And Joe Simcoe comes to me with, hey, bro, got something I want to run by you. And I go, okay, what do you got? And he goes, what would you think of starting a women's wrestling program at Tiff University? And I rolled my eyes and went, man, are you from Mars or where? <laughs> and uh, here we are today. You know, great complex, great men's wrestling program and the start of a women's wrestling program. Um, it's already been stated, first one in Ohio, I believe. Uh, there aren't very many women's wrestling programs in the state, but that's Joe Simcoe. It's his concern and caring about what he's involved in. And, uh, you know, reaching out to women to be able to fulfill their passion. You know, men's wrestling, you have to be passionate to be a wrestler. So if you're a women's wrestler, just think of the passion that you have to participate at, at that sport, at that level, and to provide those young women the opportunity to do that, along with their opportunity to go to college, um, is a strengthening event in their journey to allow them to be great citizens when they leave this institution. So it's a, a, a great feat, and you know, I, I rolled my eyes and thought, wow, what's this about? But here we are today, and it's all good stuff. It's the young, brash Larry Hellsberger. Uh, and I'm proud that Joe is also a partner of our community. Uh, in addition to Joe and, and Larry, uh, the two ladies that are with them, Jeannie Adelsberger and Sally Simcoe, um, help support the attitude of who these two men are. They bring certainly harmony, support, they slow things down, uh, have a level of control, and most importantly, bring the aspect of family to the thought process of these two men. So uh, again, it's a celebration about people, and a celebration about two men and, and their journey. Uh, It's a great day for us here at Tiff University and for all of us in the community. A um, couple of things that uh, you just, most of you are getting a pass out that, that we've put together and you'll see this on a plaque in the building and it's the uh, Adelsberger Simcoe Life Values and Principles. And uh, you can, you know, take it home and read it on your own or whatever, but a couple of things I want to draw your attention to because it speaks kind of the way these two gentlemen think and that's why the you know, why wrestling at Tiffany University, it's Joe and his attitudes and, and values and Larry and his at values and principles and they match up. But if you look at number two, uh, it says a whole lot. Life is not about winning or losing, it's about improvement and learning. All of us every day go through that and if we can hang on to the aspect that we don't ever win or lose, we're merely taking another step forward in our journey. Everything we do 
follows a pattern of how we can communicate and work with one another. And both of these people espouse that. I like number three because that's kind of Larry, you know. Um, uh, we come into a lot of, of conflict in our business, uh, and, and I think every business does. Uh, you know, there's a lot of need for negotiation, whether it's with your employees or with staff. And negotiation and conflict doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It's just that you have differences of opinion. And uh, so, you know, there's times when Larry and I will be in a meeting and we'll look at each other and we'll be, you know, all but slamming our fists on the table. But Larry always leaves the meeting with every challenge presents the opportunity. So let's have fun while we get this done. And that's really kind of the attitude, and that's Joe. Joe looks at things and, and uh, you know, it's the, hey bro, attitude of life. And lastly, I draw your attention to number seven. Uh, that's really about what the whole world is about to these two men. Uh, you know, we can all make a lot of money. We can all have the items around us in the world. Uh, but it's all about people. And when your reward really gets to be the happiness that you share with other people around you from your journey and where you're at. So glad you're all here. Appreciate your contact in the community. We're all friends. And Larry, you're my partner. Thank you, Mike. So, yeah. Jeannie and Larry, you know, when you prepare for events like this, at least I do, um, I write down some comments and some bullet points about what I might want to say, and then you see how things flow. And I have your names down here, and I have one word behind it. And after listening to everyone talk about today and the two of you, that one word is still consistent, and that's goodness. Goodness to your family, goodness to this university, goodness to this community, goodness to people who you may never, ever meet. I know goodness to folks who you'll never meet because you're endowing uh, an endowed fund here that will live forever with your names on it. And so it'll benefit, benefit this campus community literally till the end of time. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I know Jeannie's going to probably stay where she is. <laughs> Larry's going to get up and, and speak on their behalf. But please help me welcome them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mitch, I got this to say. You put me last. Everything I wanted to say has been said. <laughs> My name's already up there, Jeannie, it is, isn't it? And I'm thirsty. I don't need to wait for a train. Thank you very much, all of you. It is a pleasure to be here. A more of a pleasure to see all of you here supporting this wrestling complex. It is truly an honor to have our name on this facility. I had plenty to say, but I am going to cut it short because I am thirsty. And I'm going to say about three things. Thank all of you, the speakers. Wonderful, wonderful comments. Not the ones about me, but the ones about TU, this complex, this community. Outstanding. This is special. I'm going to try to get through three of my comments. You've heard them all before, but I took the time to have the secretary type them, <laughs> retype them, and then retype them again. And my wife's tired of hearing them. <laughs> David, I heard you laugh. Today's about Tiffin University doing what it does best, supporting their students. 
This comment or complex shows students and potential students that this institution is serious about best about supporting their activities. A best practice and a benefit for student recruitment and retention. I can assure you, students on this campus feel and see the Tiffin University support. It's about a community. Your friends, my friends. Your families, my families. A community who believed in a project and thus provided the financial funds. And it's about three individuals who had an idea, set a plan, accepted the challenge, and secured, secured the funding. It was through their leadership that made this complex possible. We owe Mike, Fred, and Mark a well-deserved thank you. Thank you, my friends, the three of you. To the women and men's wrestling teams, head coaches Brittany and Joy, congratulations on your complex. Enjoy everything it will provide and bring the very best to your team's future. And that's all those <coughs> wrestlers back there. Thank you for allowing Judy and I to be a part of the special day. Thank all of you for supporting this complex. Let's cut that ribbon. Thank you. <laughs> And as we prepare to cut that ribbon, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank a few folks for making uh, this particular uh, ceremony possible. So to our, uh, our wonderful staff and event services, uh, Sandy and Sarah, thank you. To the uh, facilities team that helped uh, make this building um, spick and span, thank you. To our wrestling staff for all that you've done um, and continue to do, thank you. And uh, to our friends at the Pioneer, Pioneer Mill, who are always very good to, to Tiffin University, and our students, they're inside. Thank you. So if I could have Jeannie and Larry come up, along with uh, Mike, Fred, and Mark, Lil, and our trustees uh, who are present, we'll, uh, we'll cut the ribbon, and uh, we'll go ahead and have that drink, Larry. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the reception.